Now, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz addressed the German parliament about the state of the economy. Scholz called on the ruling coalition, democratic opposition and local authorities to pull together to overcome the hurdle. Now, the German Chancellor announced a new Germany pact. This is a package of several measures aimed at cutting the size of the bureaucracy, increasing the speed of approval processes for new infrastructure construction and digitizing access to key government services for German citizens. Scholz also said that the citizens want orientation and courageous compromises. Genauso ist es überall wichtig, dass wir Tempo machen. Deshalb noch mal an dieser Stelle. Wenn uns zum Beispiel ein großer Versorger wie E.ON sagt, er hat 600 Verfahren am Laufen und nur wenige davon sind bisher abgewickelt worden für den Ausbau der Verteilnetze, dann ist das etwas, das wir nicht mehr so lassen können, wie es heute ist. Das ist meine feste Überzeugung. Das geht so nicht weiter. In der Zeit, in der wir über die Verlängerung einer einzigen U-Bahn-Linie oder ein Hochhaus aus sprechen und es planen, werden in anderen Ländern ganze Strecken gebaut. Die Bürgerinnen und Bürger sind diesem Stillstand leid und ich bin es auch. Scholz added that the government is already investing record sums in structural and infrastructure improvements. In the 2024 budget, Germany invested around $62.3 billion from its climate fund in hydrogen, the chip industry, climate-friendly mobility and renovation. He claimed that the German government is also investing billions of dollars in transport networks like railways, new bridges and charging stations. Scholz also criticized the far-right party alternative for Germany. Pardon me, Germany. While praising that the Germany pact, he said that the plan will also hold off those who want to draw political gain from difficult situations and panic mongering. Over the past few years, the AFD has surged in opinion polls, sometimes even ahead of the Scholz's Social Democrats party.